On top of the abilities gained from the conduits, Lacian also uses a few more in phase 1. Decapitate is an incredibly hard hitting attack that will apply a debuff, increasing physical damage taken by 100%. When this ability is about to be used, the other tank needs to taunt the boss and the other needs to run away from the boss. Another ability is Thunderstruck, which will deal damage in a location marked on the ground. Raiders will take less damage the further away they are from impact. Simply don't stand where it's going to hit, and try and move like 20 yards or so away from the location. Crashing Thunder is a void zone that will spawn on raiders lasting for 45 seconds, dealing damage. Just move out of these. So all the previously mentioned will take place during phase 1. Once at 65% health, the transition will start. The boss will go up onto the center platform for 45 seconds. The Ray will have to deal with the 4 conduit abilities while he is up there. You will need to mark the platforms into quarters and divide the raid into groups, assigning each group to a quarter. Continue to deal with the abilities normally until the end of the phase. Once the transition is over, the conduit with the highest power will be destroyed and that quarter will become compromised, dealing damage to anyone standing in it. At the beginning of phase 2, the remaining conduits will have their power reset to zero. During phase 2, the boss gains a lot more abilities but losing Decapitate and Thunderstruck. Lightning Whip will deal damage in an area on the platform. This shit hits quite hard and needs to be avoided. After impact, the attack will also leave lightning on the ground which will deal decent damage to people who walk over them. You're actually able to hop over these. Fusion Slash is a hard hitting attack on the current target. It also debuffs and knocks the player back. The debuff causes the player to take 100% increased damage from Fusion Slash for 60 seconds. Obviously the tank will need to switch once this is used, and note, please don't stand with your back to the edge of the platform, you're just going to go flying off the edge. Summon Ball Lightning will summon adds no doubtably called Ball Lightnings at Raiders locations. These will deal damage in a 6 yard radius where they spawn and they will continue to hit the Raider while alive. So these will need to be killed and spread out to minimize the damage that will be done. Now when it comes to the conduits, one of the conduits will have to get stronger before hitting transition. So assuming you got rid of the east conduit, go ahead and power up the north conduit. Meaning make this conduit last and make it the one to level up. Make sure the first two conduits don't level up. Once you get the boss down to 30% health, then the next transition will begin. The same thing will happen in this transition, but one quarter of the room will be compromised already. If you're assigned to the quarter that is compromised, then just go to any other quarters of the room. Just don't go into the quarter that is compromised. 